Hi folks, I just got this new Arduino Leonardo in from Adafruit and uh, the features are too cool on this not to throw up a quick video talking about it. Um, let's first compare it to an older, uh, what I sort of call the original generation of Arduinos here, the Decimella and the Duomo Nova, and forgive me for the pronunciation there. Um, the most obvious difference is this large socket mount chip versus the surface mount chip here on the new Leonardo. But if you'll remember, some of the other Arduinos, like this Mega, also had surface mount chips, and that alone isn't the um, sole improvement. What's really cool is there's no more FTDI chip here, which was a serial to USB converter. And that may sound like fancy, complicated stuff, but if you've used an Arduino before, you'll, you'll know or realize that the Arduino acted as like a COM port, which really converted this USB down to a much older technology of serial ports. If you are older than a certain age, you'll probably remember using 9-pin or 15-pin or something serial ports. This does away with that. Here's why that really matters. This new Leonardo can act like a true USB device, sort of the plug and play, if you will. So that means it can act like a joystick or a keyboard or even a mouse, which sounds cool. And then you realize what makes that really cool is if you are reading analog inputs from a sensor, you can have that information dump straight into the Windows program of your choice, which is huge for making Arduino interface cool and, and fun and productive. Um, and, and the possibilities there, I think, are really open up. I haven't played with it yet, but I'm also hoping slash wondering if it's going to be a quicker interface uh, when it comes to uploading and debugging. The pin, um, the paint job is much easier to read, I find, as well. The pins are very well labeled. Speaking of pins, you get seven pulse width management, or PWM pins. If you don't know what that is, take a look. PWM is great for things like hobby servos, which I just did a video on, but also anything from, say, fading in and out and LED. So more PWM is good. Um, the USB is a micro B. I gotta be honest, I, I don't like that. I'm kind of a fan of the big standard USB because that's the cables I always have laying around, but um, I will get used to it. Um, you do have a lot more I.O. or input-output pins. The pins, I guess it would be 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, and 12 on this digital row can actually be used as analog inputs, which are traditionally the analog inputs are pin 0 through 5 down here. The PWM pins are labeled with the tildes right here. You can see them. Um, I guess all 20 pins can be used as digital input pins, which is cool. And uh, what else here? Uh, so apparently it's not compatible with some existing shields, which is a big bummer, except that it was a sort of necessary evil to lock down what Arduino is saying is the final board dev. So um, it's not something that gives me too much heartburn, especially given how excited I am about the new features. And of all the features that's really cool, they added all this functionality and the price actually dropped. With headers, this board is $24.95, which is pretty rock star. Um, so more to come on how to use it. There's some fancier stuff here like I squared C and this IO ref pin that lets um, other shields be able to read what voltage the Arduino is running at. But some of that stuff's a little bit more advanced. I think there are some great improvements to this board uh, for beginners and advanced folks alike. That's all for now, folks. Thanks. Take care.